the brakes do not work um, and so I did go ahead and I pulled the pin out and unhooked the brakes and took off the front wheel and this cover fell out and it was empty inside There's nothing in there bolts holding it. <clears throat> okay, so the speedometer gear looks like those tabs set in in those holes. And I think I've got another speedometer gear in the box of parts. I didn't know what it was when I was first digging through the parts, but now that I see this, I know that's what it is. Brakes. They aren't there. That might be why it not go slow when you pull on them brakes. Um, so, I dug through my boxes of parts all excited because I have at least two um, brake sets in there and they're too big. They're for the rear and they're, these are smaller than the ones on the rear um, which is kind of odd because I don't know but I, I don't know why I would say it's odd I suppose. Um, so I looked and didn't see anything there was a couple of different sizes in there so one might have been for some other bike I don't know but either way I do not have front brakes and that's just how it's going to be for now I suppose because I don't I didn't look up what prices would be to put front brakes on it. It doesn't go much over 20. It slows itself down. It's not a quick stopping bike by any means. But you can ride it. Um, I went and looked at getting a, um, a 6 volt battery for this and finishing up the wiring and then putting the cover on. Um, but for a lead acid battery that fits here, that 6 volts is like $50, which doubles the cost of the bike, I suppose, if I do that. But it runs without it. The only thing that's going to do is give me brighter lights, I believe. Because um, right now, when it's running and you turn the lights on, you see the indicator on the here that it's lights are working and you you look at the front when it's running it kind of looks like you've got a jar with some fireflies in it but it is a light um, I knocked it over yesterday bent that so I need to straighten that out I wasn't paying attention okay I mentioned I had knocked it over and this, I didn't realize this, I was drug my plastic out. I was going to try to fit it in there. A bent. My pedal, my crank. So I'll have to straighten that out. <clears throat> um, but anyhow, so here's how this goes on. It doesn't line up anymore. See that pulls air in from here through there, and inside here is a little tube that had a thin piece of foam on it. Um, I suppose you could put a, some other foam on it, 
um, and it's supposed to sit like so and then this tube's supposed to hook up there somehow. <clears throat> but it doesn't quite line up. I suppose I can make it work. And then this goes, this piece goes over here. Somehow. There. Probably like that. Yep, yeah, probably just like so. Covers that up. Um, but I can get some rubber and close that up. And then on the other side is I got this for my hold the little battery in if I had one, which I don't. So and then this doesn't want to clear because I put this fuel filter on. Um This is supposed to stick out through that plastic, um, which if I'd have known that, I probably could have avoided putting a fuel filter on there or something. But anyway, so <clears throat> I guess this is a long way of going around to say I got the plastic I could put on there, but. I'm not so sure that I will because I'm feeling lazy and I gotta straighten that and probably had I had plastic on when I knocked it over I would have broken it but you know, I'll probably work on getting an air cleaner on there well upon further in thinking on this I decided not to try and pry it because I've got seals right here um, it survived one whack and bent that and didn't um, break anything here. So I'm afraid I might break something. So um, I've got to take this cotter out. Once I was able to get this in here, and it doesn't take very much, just a little bit, and then it's loose enough that you can get it out. Um, unless they've been in there for a long time. But, um, and I suppose I might have been able to tap that to get it out. Um, but you see, there are just a tapered wedge. And this, is, it's very soft. Um, I may have been able to um, tap and got it out because it hasn't gotten rusted in there. But um, they will. So, anyway, I'm going to go straighten this on and put it back together. There it is set on the press. I don't know how much I need to bend it, not much. not enough. Anyway. Lined up. Actually. Gotta go that much. Alright. 
two or three bins later, I think we're good enough. What do you think? Compared to oh yeah. Compared to the other side. Good enough. Alright, I'm gonna tighten it up. And call it fixed. And since I'm already messing around down here, I guess I'll go ahead and try to figure out the uh, air cleaner. Okay. Clears everything. I wonder if that was somewhat bent before. I know what I added to the issue, but I don't think it was ever that much clearance between that and that spark or coil cover or whatever that's called. Alright, so here. While we're down here, this is how that air filter is supposed to be. This plastic gray thing had a little foam thing on it. This is the little foam air cleaner. A little foam thing on it. So well, I suppose I could clean that up and um, find some sort of foam to put on there. But the bigger problem is this doesn't match up there. Um, but I think what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and get this housing figured out how I'm going to mount it in there, what holds it, where my bolts are. Looks like probably one here, and then one on the tail. And I suppose they can't be that hard to find. And it goes back there. And then one up here. Okay, a screw here, and then a screw on the back side, on the black. I think you're supposed to have a long screw in there, but that pulls it too close to get a good lineup on my deal here. So I'm going to probably take that out for the nut behind a long bolt. Here's my piece of inner tube. And I think I can stretch it over that and tie wrap it on. And also, I'll probably tie wrap it on over here and then fold it back over itself. The progress so far, it's folded over so it's two inner tubes. The seams back here um, tie wrapped on. tight. Now to try and shove this in there. Okay, well it's on two layers and what I did was I just kind of got it wedged in there and then slid this down in there and grabbed hold of it and pulled just basically like pulling a sock on your foot. It's close. Um, Tie wrap won't work, you have to use a piece of string because uh, it hits, it won't allow the cover to slide off. So, well, apparently, you don't need to put that string on there because it looks like it'll hold once it's clamped down. But So, there's a screw and a couple of washers to shim it out. I'd like it to sit just a little bit more like that. I think it'll probably get plenty of air. I don't know. If it doesn't run worth a darn, 
go figure, that's why. Okay. I went ahead and gave this a trucker's bath with this spray bottle and bag. And look at that. Oh, look at those marks. I did not do those. So those pedals were pushed in some before I did my major damage. Okay, I'm glad I went ahead and pulled it out for now. Okay, now I'll find out. Get that stuck in there if that's the right spot. Get everything closed up, find a screw for that, and then we'll see how pretty this side is. There we go. Caused myself a gas leak by messing around. Um, I just think, it, I don't know what I did, but I think it was just because I was pushing on this gas line, but it quit. <clears throat> what I wound up doing, this front wrapped around, um, had a, a little slit right there, and I don't know what that was for, <clears throat> but it wasn't letting my fuel line through, so I cut this off. And it's got two little hooks that sit there, and then I found a... Uh, little knob I had in the drawer for some something I scavenged somewhere and we've got that so this is what it looks like with the plastic on looks a lot nicer inside I found a black big headed screw put that in there kind of looks like I need to re-drill that, move that in, if it will. I may take that apart and see if it will set closer, but there we have it. <clears throat> and I'm going to say, at this moment, this little project is done. Um, pick up my few bolts and pieces left. And then all my parts, um, yesterday I put all of those into two, into a tote, and then my two engine cases into a box, or engines and pieces into another box. So, at this moment, I'm calling it done enough until I decide I want to put front brakes on it. Um, doubled its value by just putting the plastic on it. Of course, it's worth more in parts than probably as a bike, but what the hey? Yeah, there was already two holes in there, so I just came and caught the inside one. And so, that's what it looks like. That looks a lot better, that plastic's plastic on there. So, just my mirror. It is. You know, I wonder if I could swap those magnesium wheels on there, or those aluminum wheels. Maybe those have a better brake, a bigger brake. That might be something I do someday. I like the look of it. Well, now that we got the air cleaner on it, let's see what it sounds like. Turn the fuel on. Engage our pedal thing. Choke.
what do you think? I went ahead and since it holds over a gallon of fuel, I believe, and it's full, I added some fuel stabilizer to it because I don't know, modern gas is kind of crummy. Um, it looks like, what do I have here? Oh, well, that's my choke. I need to go ahead and get that choke cable out of there because I won't be using that. I'm not done yet. Pull that off. Shut my mirror up. Put that in my parts bin and we're done then. One quick walk around. Sweet little bike.